Biocon Limited BSE 532523 is an Indian biopharmaceutical company based in Bangalore, India. The company manufactures generic active pharmaceutical ingredients APIs that are sold in over 120 countries across the globe, including the developed markets of the United States and Europe. It also manufactures novel biologics, as well as, biosimilar insulins and antibodies, which are sold in India as branded formulations. Biocon's biosimilar products are also sold in both bulk and formulation forms in several emerging markets. In research services, Syngene International Limited, Syngene, a publicly listed subsidiary of Biocon, is engaged in the business of integrated end-to-end -end drug discovery and development services. Biocon's formulations for the Indian market straddles metabolics, oncology, immunotherapy, nephrology and specialty. Some of Biocon's key brands in India include INSUGEN, RH Insulin, BASALOG, Glargine, Biomab EGFR, Nimituzumab, BLISTO, Glimepiride Plus Metformin, Canmub, Trastuzumab, Everdur, Everolimus, TACROGRAF, Tacrolimus, Alzimab, Italizumab, and KRABEVA, Bevacizumab, which are claimed to be considerably less expensive than other leading brands. Two of its novel programs on the verge of proof of concept stage are in 105, which is the only oral insulin in the world to be in long duration clinical trials, and T1H, a novel humanized monoclonal antibody, MAB, the only first in class novel MAB being tested in India for rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis. Biocon and Syngene together employ about 9,200 personnel, including biologists, chemists, medical practitioners, pharmacologists, engineers, finance, legal, marketing analysts, HR generalists and general administrators. Topic history Biocon was founded in 1978 with 10,000 rupees $140 as the initial capital, failing to find any financial institution for investment. The operations began out of the garage of a rented house with two employees. Biocon's first product to go to market was papain, an enzyme found in papaya which is used to prevent beer from turning hazy. Until 1983, the company blended enzymes and supplied them to brewing, textiles, biofuels, animal feed and other such industries across the world. In 1989, the Irish Biocon was acquired by Unilever. In the mid-1990s, Kiran Mazumdar Shah decided to focus on biopharmaceuticals rather than enzymes. But Unilever, a major shareholder, did not want to be in the biopharmaceuticals business. At that time, John Shaw, the Scotsman whom Kiran Mazumdar Shah had married in 1998, used his savings to reclaim the entire Biocon stake from Unilever. Biocon's milestone events in each year are as follows. The 29th of November 1978 Biocon India is incorporated as a joint venture between Biocon Biochemicals Limited of Ireland and Kiran Mazumdar Shah. 1979 becomes the first Indian company to manufacture and export enzymes to USA and Europe. 1989 Unilever acquires Biocon Biochemicals Limited in Ireland and merges it with its subsidiary, Quest International. Biocon receives US funding for proprietary technologies. 1994 establishes Syngene International Private. Limited as a custom research company, CRC. 1998 Unilever agrees to sell its shareholding in Biocon to the Indian promoters. Biocon becomes an independent entity. 2001 becomes the first Indian company to be approved by US FDA for the manufacture of Lovastatin. Plafractor is granted a US 2001 and worldwide patent. 2003 Biocon becomes the first company worldwide to develop human insulin on a Pisha expression system. 
2006 Biomab EGFR, first indigenously developed humanized monoclonal antibody for head and neck cancer is launched and Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam inaugurates India's largest biotech hub, Biocon Park. 2007 Biocon and Neopharma sign and Mo to establish a JV to manufacture and market a range of biopharmaceuticals for the GCC countries. 2008 Biocon acquires a 70% stake in German pharmaceutical company, AxiCorp GmbH. 2009 Syngenae Bristol Myers Squibb Research Facility is established in Bengaluru. 2009 Mylan announces strategic collaboration with Biocon to enter the global generic biologics market. 2010 Biocon expands to Malaysia, biopharmaceutical manufacturing and R&D facility established in Iskander Malaysia, Johor. 2011 Biocon launches Insipen, a convenient and affordable reusable insulin delivery device. 2012 Abbott announces collaboration with Syngenae to open first nutrition R&D center in India. 2013 Biocon launches biologic drug Alzimab to treat psoriasis. 2014 Biocon launches world's first biosimilar drug Canmab to treat breast cancer. 2015 Biocon launches hepatitis C drug in India under brand name CIMIVIRL. 2016 becomes the first Indian company to launch a biosimilar insulin glargine pen in Japan. 2016 Syngenae sets up Amgen R&D Center in Bangalore. 2017 Biocons Insugen is the first locally manufactured biosimilar product to be approved for sale by the Malaysian Drug Regulator. 2017 US FDA approves Myelin Biocons Biosimilar for Cancer Drug Herceptin. 2018 Novartis and Biocon announce partnership on next wave of biosimilars. 2018 Biocon, Myelin get European Commission approval to market biosimilar insulin glargine. Topic Corporate Governance Biocon's technocrat CMD Kiran Mazumdar Shah has nurtured Biocon since its inception in 1978. Her efforts in biotechnology have drawn global recognition both for the industry in India and for Biocon and she has been termed India's biotech queen by The Economist and India's mother of invention by The New York Times. She was recently named among Time magazine's 100 most influential people in the world based not only on her contribution to the biotech industry but also because she gives back to the community. Ms. Shaw features on the Forbes list of the world's 100 most powerful women and in Financial Times' Top 50 Women in Business Listiems Shaw chairs Karnataka's Vision Group on Biotechnology and also served on the Board of Science Foundation, Ireland. She serves on the Advisory Council of the Government's Department of Biotechnology and is part of the Prime Minister's Council on Trade and Industry in India and the U.S. India CEO Forum. She serves as member, governing body and general body of the Indian Pharmacopoeia Commission, an autonomous body of the Government of India. She is a founder member of the Society for the Formation of Institute for Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine. She has been nominated as member of the Board of Trade, Directorate General of Foreign Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ms. Shah is the recipient of several awards including the Nikkei Asia Prize 2009 for Regional Growth, Express Pharmaceutical Leadership Summit Award 2009 for Dynamic Entrepreneur, the Economic Times Businesswoman of the Year, the Vuv Klikwa Initiative for Economic Development for Asia, Ernst & Young's Entrepreneur of the Year Award for Life Sciences and Healthcare, Technology Pioneer Recognition by World Economic Forum and the Indian Chamber of Commerce Lifetime Achievement Award. 
She has received two Indian national awards, Padma Shri 1989 and Padma Bhushan 2005 for her pioneering efforts in industrial biotechnology. Born on the 23rd of March 1953 in Bangalore, Ms. Shah received a graduate honors degree in zoology from Bangalore University 1973 and qualified as a master brewer from Ballarat University, Australia 1975. She received an honorary doctorate of science in 2004 from Ballarat University in recognition of her contributions to biotechnology. Active on the corporate social responsibility front, Ms. Shaw set up the Biocon Foundation in 2004. Recently, she contributed 400 million rupees to help establish the presently 500 bed Mazumdar Shah Cancer Center in Bangalore. In an interview, she stated, The way I have looked at it is that business is very mercenary and you've got to balance it with some missionary aspect. To me corporate social responsibility is getting that balance right that you got to make sure that you invest in the community that supports your business. Apart from her interested in the civic well-being of Bangalore, she is an avid art collector. She is married to John Shaw who headed leading textiles MNC Madura Coats from 1991 to 1998 as chairman and managing director. Biocon announced that Dr. Christiane Hamaker has been appointed as the CEO of Biocon Biologic India Limited effective from March 2019. The members of the board of directors are, Ms. Kiran Mazumdar Shah, chairperson and managing director, first generation entrepreneur with more than 42 years of experience in biotechnology and industrial enzymes. Mr. John Shaw, Vice Chairman and Whole Time Director, served in senior corporate positions around the world, and former Chairman, Madura Coates Limited. Dr. Arun Chandavarkar, Chief Executive Officer and Joint Managing Director, core member of Biocon's leadership team, played a pivotal role in the evolution of Biocon over the last 27 years. Professor Ravi Mazumdar, non-executive director, university research chair professor, Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, University of Waterloo. Russell Walls, independent director, chairman, Aviva Life Holdings Limited. Experience of more than 47 years in the field of finance. Dr. Vijay Kuchru Independent Director, Samuel L. Wasserstrom Professor of Neurology and Director of Evergrande Center for Immunologic Diseases at Harvard Medical School, USA. Dr. Jeremy Levin, Independent Director, Former President and CEO of Teva Pharmaceuticals. Mary Harney Independent Director, Deputy Prime Minister of the Irish Republic from 1997 to 2006. Daniel M. Bradbury Independent Director, on the Board of Trustees of the Keck Graduate Institute, California, USA M. Damodaran Independent Director, Founder and Chairman, IIM Trichy. Topic. Subsidiaries, Acquisitions and Strategic Global Alliances Topic. Syngenay International Private Limited Established in 1994, Syngenay International Limited is Biocon's custom research organization offering pharmaceutical and biotechnology majors customized solutions in synthetic chemistry and molecular biology for early stage drug discovery and development. It offers high-value services from target identification and validation to small molecule and library synthesis, on a strong platform of confidentiality and intellectual property protection. It was India's first crow to receive special export status by the Government of India. Recently it has collaborated with Abbott Nutrition. Topic. Clinigene 
Clinigene International Limited is a subsidiary on Syngene offering international pharmaceutical majors Phase I IV clinical trials and studies for novel, generic molecules. BBPL Anticipating the increasing importance of immunotherapy medicines of the future, Biocon established Biocon Biopharmaceuticals Private Limited BBPL in 2003 as a joint venture with the Cuban Institute CIMAB to develop and market a range of MABs and cancer vaccines. Topic: Biocon AxiCorp In 2008, Biocon acquired a majority stake of 70% in AxiCorp GmbH, a German pharmaceutical marketing company and amongst the fastest growing in Europe. AxiCorp also won the German AOK, a leading public health insurer, tender for metformin, marking an important milestone for Biocon's entry into the generics market as well as enabling it to market biosimilar insulin and analogs in the German market. AxiCorp is now an autonomous subsidiary of Biocon and the most successful Indian-owned German pharmaceutical company. Neobiocon Incorporated in January 2008 Neobiocon FZLLC is a research and marketing pharmaceutical company based in Abu Dhabi. It is a 50-50 joint venture established with the Abu Dhabi-based pharmaceutical manufacturing company Neopharma, in order to manufacture and market a range of biopharmaceuticals for the GCC countries Gulf Cooperation Council. The new company's product offering includes biologicals, proprietary, in-licensed products, targeted therapeutics, research-based differentiated formulations and innovative drug delivery systems. It also launched Abrixane in the UAE. Biocon and Amelin In 2009, Biocon and Amelin Pharmaceuticals of the United States entered into an agreement to develop, commercialize and manufacture a novel peptide therapeutic for the potential treatment of diabetes. Amelin provides expertise in peptide hormone development, particularly in the area of fibroid technology and metabolic disease therapeutics. Biocon will utilize its expertise in recombinant microbial expression and experience in preclinical and clinical development of diabetes products to manufacture the compound. Topic: Biocon and Iatrica. In 2008, Biocon and Iatrica of the United States announced a strategic partnership to co-develop immunoconjugates for targeted immunotherapy of cancers and infectious diseases. The companies are co-developing candidate products based upon Iatrica's technology platform and Biocon's expertise in drug development, biologics manufacturing, and clinical research. The goal of this collaboration is to develop a therapeutic vaccine where the T-cell mediated immunity is enhanced and maintained against a tumor which otherwise evades immune responses. Methods of developing, characterizing and scaling up of conjugated monoclonal antibody production are being currently studied. Topic: Biocon and Myelin In 2009, Biocon signed a collaboration agreement with Mylan to develop and commercialize multiple, high-value generic biologics. Mylan and Biocon will share development, capital and other costs to bring products to market. Mylan will have exclusive commercialization rights in USA, Canada, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, EU and European Free Trade Association countries through a profit-sharing arrangement with Biocon. Topic. 
Topic: Biocon and Optimer. Biocon and Optimer Pharmaceuticals, a biopharmaceutical company focused on the treatment of serious infections such as Clostridium difficile infection (CDI), have entered into a long-term supply agreement for the commercial manufacturing of the active pharmaceutical ingredient, Fidaxomycin. Topic: Biocon and Vaxinex. Biocon is also developing fully human antibodies BVX10 and BVX20 with a U.S. antibody technology partner, Vaxinex. The partnership was initiated in 2004. BVX10 targets TNF tumor necrosis factor, which is expressed at high levels in patients suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. Biocon's strategic partnership with Vaxinex allows access to their proprietary human antibody platform technology, thereby providing a strong IP protection to Biocon's antibody pipeline. Topic: Biocon and Abraxas. In 2007, Biocon and Abraxas Bioscience, Inc. entered into an agreement which helped Biocon out-license the rights to develop and market a biosimilar version of GCSF granulocyte colony stimulating factor to North American and European markets. Biocon receives an upfront licensing fee and, following approval in the licensed territories, royalties from Abraxas Bioscience. The partnership has also helped Biocon's Oncotherapeutics Division add another frontline anti-cancer drug, Abraxane, to its portfolio. In licensed from Abraxas Bioscience, Biocon has obtained the rights to market Abraxane in India for the treatment of breast cancer. Topic: Biocon and Sandoz. In January 2018, Sandoz, a Novartis division, announced a global partnership with Biocon to develop, manufacture and commercialize multiple biosimilars in immunology and oncology for patients worldwide. Under the terms of the agreement, both companies will share responsibility for end-to-end -end development, manufacturing and global regulatory approvals for a number of products, and will have a cost and profit share arrangement globally. Topic. Biocon technology Biocon's manufacturing facilities are located at two sites in Bangalore. Topic research and development capabilities Biocon's discovery-led R&D focuses on the entire drug development pathway, from process development, to non-clinical and clinical research. Topic. Process sciences Biocon has developed processes for multiple products, including insulin, streptokinase, GCSF and Biomab EGFR. In this department, it also develops cell lines, fermentation, purification, scale-up, formulation processes and analytical methods to meet global regulatory standards. It also researches and develops a range of microbial-derived pharmaceutical products for diseases spanning the cardiovascular, diabetes, nephrology, inflammatory and oncology areas. Non-clinical research Biocon scientists take up toxicology and pharmacology studies to establish proof of concept and provide assurance of safety in molecules under investigation. They plan, develop and execute studies that meet global regulatory requirements. Topic. Clinical research 
Biocon develops clinical protocols for several novel drugs. It conducts studies like assessment of novel biomarkers to understand the safety and efficacy of molecules in clinical trials. Till date Biocon has filed nearly 1,300 patent applications and hold over 1,050 patents and 555 trademark registrations globally, covering technology areas of fermentation, protein purification, drug delivery systems and biotherapeutic molecules. Topic. Products. Biocon's portfolio consists of 36 brands across the four therapeutic divisions of diabetology, nephrology, oncology and cardiology. Topic. Diabetology This is the oldest of Biocon's four divisions and has acquired 50% of the market share in the Indian insulin segment through its flagship product INSUGEN which has since been introduced into several overseas markets. In 2009, the division launched its first insulin analogue, BASALOGTM, in the Indian market. It can be used just once a day and is effective for 24 hours. Both INSUGEN and BASALOGTM are being developed for registration in Europe and USA between 2012 and 2016. BLISTOMFTM and METADOZEIPR are Biocon's oral anti-diabetic formulations while OLISATTM is an oral anti-obesity formulation. Topic. Nephrology ERYPRO Safe Erythropoietin is among the top brands in the EPO market. RENODAPT, Biocon's premium immunosuppressant, Mofidil, ranks fourth among 25 brands, while the newly introduced immunosuppressant, TAC brands. Biocon has newly launched dosage forms like TACROGRAF 0.25 mg, RENODAPT 750 mg, to suit Indian patient needs through ideal dosage and enhanced compliance. In 2009, Biocon launched a specially formulated protein supplement, Narita Plus in the renal nutrition segment, for dialysis patients suffering from malnutrition. Topic. Oncology This division's Biomab EGFR, approved in 22 countries, is a successful formulation for indications like head and neck cancers, both adult and pediatric glioma, and nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Abrixane, launched in July 2008, is being used to treat metastatic breast cancer and also other tumors such as pancreatic cancer, non-small cell lung cancer and ovarian cancer. It is a first-in-class, innovative treatment regimen designed to address unmet needs associated with solvent-based paclitaxel such as hypersensitivity reactions, increased myelosuppression and axonal degeneration. NUFIL Safetyem for the treatment of chemotherapy-induced neutropenia is among the top 10 brands in the Philgrastum segment. Topic. Cardiology With major brands like Statix anti-cholesterol and TELMISAT anti-hypertensive, Biocon's cardiology division is now ranked number 22nd in its representative market. Biocon's CLOTIDETM is the leading eptifibatide brand in India and MYOKINASE met free streptokinase is a life-saving injectable. Other brands like ACTIBLOKIPR Metoprolol, and the newly launched Bester Resuvastatin, and BRADIA Ivabridine, are also from this division. Topic. 
Topic: Other conditions. Chronic plaque psoriasis, italizumab, a humanized monoclonal antibody targeting the CD6 protein, became available to physicians in India in August 2013. Topic. Growth drivers Today, biologics, with revenues of $125 billion in 2008, are outperforming the global pharma market. The growth rate of biologics, which include biosimilar MABs, biosimilar insulin and novel biotherapeutics, among others, is projected to increase at double-digit levels. Moreover, even as mature markets have a single-digit growth rate of 4.3%, the growth essential to the industry's survival is coming from emerging markets that are expected to expand by $90 billion during 2009-13 and contribute 48% of annual market growth in 2013. In such a scenario, Biocon has the structures to engage these growth drivers. Monoclonal antibodies MABs, these are one of the fastest growing categories of the biopharmaceuticals industry with sales expected to reach $67.6 billion by 2015, a CAGR of 13.8% between 2008 and 2015. Biocon has the expertise required to develop MABs as seen with its product, Biomab EGFR, it has the manufacturing facilities required for MAB research and has developed expertise in process development, formulation development and characterization as well as manufacturing and clinical development. Biocon has entered into sales and marketing agreements with Myelin to develop and commercialize molecules globally. Biosimilar insulin, with the worldwide insulin market expected to be worth over $11 billion by 2011 and an estimated 246 million people affected by diabetes worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, the demand for insulin is expected to increase greatly over the next decade. Biocon has expertise in developing cost-effective PISA-derived insulin. It has a rich insulin portfolio. Comprising recombinant human insulin, insulin glargine, a long-acting basal insulin analog, insulin aspart, short-acting, in preclinical, and insulin lispro, another short-acting analog, in preclinical. Covering the analog space, novel licensing program, Biocon has programs to out-license two molecules in 105 and T1H. With a positive safety and clearance profile, in 105 is an orally delivered conjugated insulin drug that is expected in the market soon. In 105 is currently undergoing phase 3 clinical studies in India. An investigational new drug application IND, with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration was filed in December. T1H is a novel humanized monoclonal antibody that blocks CD6. In clinical trials in the autoimmune segment, T1H is the only class 1 novel biological being tested in India for rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis. Two phase 2 clinical trials have been started one in raw and one in psoriasis, and are expected to be completed this year. Emerging markets, with the dynamics of the pharma world shifting, emerging markets. The 17 high-growth pharmaceutical markets, including the seven primary pharmaging markets of India, Brazil, Russia, China, Mexico, Turkey and South Korea, present an important opportunity for biotechnology firms. Emerging markets including India already contribute about 40% of Biocon sales. Biocon has entered into partnerships with companies around the world to gain access in emerging markets. Firsts Set up in 1978, Biocon is India's first biotech company. First Indian biotech company to receive U.S. funding for proprietary technologies 1989. Sets up India's first clinical research organization, Clinigene, 2000. 
first Indian company to be approved by US FDA for the manufacture of lovastatin, a cholesterol lowering molecule, 2001. First company worldwide to develop human insulin on a Pisha expression system, 2003. Launches India's first cancer drug, Biomab EGFR, 2006. First Indian company to manufacture and export enzymes to USA and Europe. India's largest producer and exporter of enzymes. Releases country's first 24-hour diabetes drug, Glargine, 2009. First biotech company to receive ISO 9001 certification in India. Syngene is country's first custom research company in drug discovery. First Indian company to get a US FDA approval for a biosimilar, 2017.